also gates uranium mining yeah. and nuclear power stations and nuclear power in general. Tonight is the International Uranium Conference. They're meeting over there in the Pan Pacific Hotel. Um, but behind us is images from around the world of protests, um, posters advertising protests from countries like Germany, the Ukraine, uh, France, Thailand, Japan, Australia, the US. Um, it's a shame they're having it. It's a shame they want to mine uranium in, in WA. And I hope they don't do it. Well, we've just been subjected to six people speaking very positively about the nuclear industry and it was really quite alarming because they don't seem to know that this is an industry in decline. They certainly didn't know a question that I posed them which was about the World Health Organization and an agreement that it's got with the International Atomic Energy Agency not to speak about nuclear issues unless it checks with the IAEA first. In other words, whatever the World Health Organization says about nuclear matters is watered right down to suit the industry. And of course one of the problems is you don't get dozens, uh, thousands of dozens of immediate deaths from a nuclear accident. The, the problems show up later. They're just basically trying to fool the public, that's all, and there's no safe level of radiation. So, And they were trying to talk about the natural radiation we have around us every day but that's nothing compared to the impact that uranium mining can have on our health and it's devastating and it should never be allowed here. Because it's the International Uranium Conference we want to show that there's international opposition to this industry.